Yeah, I call this one VCR with a butter knife stuck in it. Brilliant. Visionary. I must have it. Name your price. I don't know, I guess like 13 trillion dollars or something. Yes, I'll give you four trillion. How dare you insult me? No deal. I'll pay the asking price. 13 trillion? That trash isn't worth 13 trillion. You're right. 14 trillion. What? No! Don't do that, it's worthless! Mind your business, lady. Actually, huh? if you think about it, things are really just worth whatever price the buyer and seller agree on. If either of them thinks the price is wrong, they can walk away. That's ridiculous. Not really. Economic value is entirely subjective. That may be the case for something as abstract as art, but for actual goods and services, it's different. Is it? Let me ask you, would you trade a diamond for a bottle of water? No way. Why not? Because a bottle of water only costs a dollar, and diamonds are worth thousands of dollars. Okay, but what if you were trapped on a desert island with no water and a treasure chest full of diamonds? Would you trade one diamond for some water then? Oh, well, I guess... The value of goods or services change. In the city, you have tons of water whenever you need it, but diamonds are rare and beautiful, so water is worth almost nothing to you, even though you need it to survive, and diamonds are worth a lot. But in the desert, you have no water, and you can't drink shiny rocks, so... Fine. But I still don't understand why someone would pay $13 trillion for a VCR with a butter knife in it. It isn't worth that much to you, and that's totally okay. But when you're thinking about how much something is worth, you're thinking about how much you are going to value having that thing in comparison to how much you value whatever it is you're being asked to trade for it. Obviously, weirdo art has no value to you, but for someone who loves that kind of thing, well... Everybody is unique. We all have different wants and needs and different resources as well. As a result, we all value things differently. And that means sometimes we aren't always going to understand why other people are willing to pay a ton of money for stuff that we think is worthless. Why did you make this thing anyway? Oh, I'm really just doing a performance piece? Incredible! What's it called? Rich idiots overpaying for pretentious nonsense? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, you can check out more similar material at fee.org. Thank you.